I'll go to the better movie place. I wonder if they're uh, actual movie game, game you. you. I wonder if they're movie like oh, actual it, movie posters. Is Pachinko Heart Parlor? Those Space Harrier's in it. Can't go in it though. That guy? Don't. You there? All right. I, I guess Welcome we're going back. back. To the My name's Live Boy. Root Dude Caboose. We're back with more Yakuza. By the way, I made a mistake in the first episode. No. <laughs> yeah. You know, I said Shigesato Toy was in Yakuza, but it was actually Beat Takeshi. All right, back to the fight. I was very embarrassed. I mentioned it on Twitter. <laughs> Today, actually. Hit him with that bike. Some of the stuff you said was correct about a toy, though. No, yeah. Shigesato Atoy was oh a God. copywriter. And he was really famous for being a copywriter. Because for cone. some fucked up reason, being a copywriter was super popular in Japan in, in the 80s. Fuck. And he was in, in uh, movies, TV shows, and commercials. But he was not in Yakuza. Was this was all before he made Earthbound? Yes. That was why, so, when he originally brought up the idea of Earthbound to, I think, Miyamoto, or Nintendo in general, they were just like, this guy? Like, they literally did, like, the whole thing where it's like, Ronald Reagan? The, he's president? Like, they are like, what the hell does this guy know? He's like a movie guy, who fucking cares? <laughs> who made this video game? Games. Itoi? The copywriter? Yeah, he, he wants to make a video game? Shut the fuck up. And then he, br like, he presented the idea again, or something like that, and, um, they thought it was a really good idea. And it was. It's a very good idea that he perfected in the second game. Although everyone likes the third game, whose anniversary was on 420. Huh. Yeah. Drink a nice oolong tea. <laughs> that is correct because it is currently 421, 22 by now. Yes. 23 even. Oh. I don't know what day it is. 22. Oh my god. <clears throat> sauce yakisoba. <laughs> <laughs> Just yakisoba with sauce. I usually always go to uh, the Big Beef Bowl. Apparently, here. you can get a stamp card, and if you eat eight days in a row, you get uh, something. Huh. Nice. Hey, go talk to her. She seems on the up and up. No, not her. The prostitute-looking woman. Oh. She's partying? Having a good time. <laughs> Man, some of these female faces. Oh, are you going to give me tissues? Yeah. Yes. Because pocket tissues were better than business cards. Oh, of course. I think I mentioned that in like episode you, two or whatever. Use them when you Go fight that guy now. Use <laughs> Goons! Oh, can I hit you with the, the motorcycle? God damn you it. You can definitely hit him with the bike. Because I always want you to think about my company when you diddle yourself. Here's some pocket tissues. What? For when you need to blow your nose, pervert. I mean, we all know what AV means on the corner there. Assault vest? No audio yeah, visual. No, it's uh, adult video. Oh. Damn! Oh, oh shit! Damn! <laughs> that guy's dead. There's no way he's not dead. <laughs> you can pick up the motorcycle. I, I know, oh, but I, I need finish. heat. I need heat to do finishers, so... You need to be in heat? Go watch those AVs. <laughs> I've had enough. had enough. Also, my friend's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you man. you crushed his skull with a fucking sign. So, reading the description on Wait, how to... Where's the AV? No, the next one. This one. This one? Yeah. I can't go in here. So, uh, in uh, Persona 5, reading about how to increase certain stats, because one okay. of the stats is charm, there's one, one of the ways they, they explain how to do it is spend time, read books, and watch certain movies. <laughs> uh, what are you looking at? You want to see some of this, too? Intervene. Bullying the innocent is lower than low. Lay off. The quietest bullying with the loudest pants Look at that guy ever. In the Carlton jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's totally wearing a Mr. Rogers thing. For a goon, he's well dressed. And that goon has neon pink pants. Yeah, he does. He's the leader. If you oh. kill him first, then they all. Oh, you should have got that kick. I like those girls cheering me on. Are they cheering you on? Yes. <gasps> Yes, bicycle. They, they're clearly cheering. <laughs> I me like. On. I like how there's the distinction with what bicycle it is. <laughs> orange cone. Orange. No, I don't want orange cone. Uh, is there anything else I can use? <laughs> you, lady, cheering for me. I need you for a minute. I use trash can. Oh no! Oh, you dumb idiot! You lost all your heat. You fucked me up. Now I'm cold. <gasps> Look at that. No Dodge one dodges. <laughs> oh! <laughs> See, that should make him bleed out of his mouth. Yeah. But no, it's hitting with a sign. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a long blue screen. <laughs> Sorry! I won't do it again! 
Thank you so much. Please take this. Ooh, toughness slight. light. Wait, slightly battered soft well, drink? Well, he was beaten up. But it's a soft drink. Well, uh -oh. the outside is tattered. Oh, uh, can we go on the swings? <laughs> no, we can't. No, he has to call mom to save. Yeah, well, I, I shouldn't need to save. God yeah. damn it, what if you bumped into one of her and she was like a uh, biker chick? And she's like, oh, Fuck yeah. off, old man! <laughs> old they're, man. They're totally those biker chick girls. Yeah, man. They're, they're here. They're ruthless. Uh, you know what, let's play the mandate. Oh, I can't. Actually, we're right across from where we need to go. Just in case. Because, uh, this, this works off RPG rules. If you die... You go back to last save point. So. You know, Tales of Hysteria is stupid about that. What do you mean? It does. It it's can't seem to decide when it will take you back to the last save point or when it will just let you restart the fight. Oh. I think it's all boss fights it lets you restart and all normal fights you have to reset. Persona's pretty good about it where if you die in the middle of a battle you it'll give you the option to restart the fight yeah mm -hmm. that should just be a thing from now on yeah. please watermelon in your ramen yeah that's kind of weird one of the cool things though is that like if you die if you die in a dungeon you can actually use the option to go back a week hmm oh to I wonder like if that does anything like retrain for it well yeah if you want to reevaluate your time because all the dungeons you do are on a timer in five I think they are in four too aren't they I don't know. I didn't. I didn't play four. Cause there's a shit ton of. You should. I hear a lot of nose stuff. Are they doing coke? No, he's no, eating. He's ramen. Oh, he's slurping ramen. Of course. Yeah. Like yeah. a gentleman. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please speak without food in your mouth. Kashiwagi. Oh, look at that scar. He's a cool dude. <clears throat> he must have been in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he might have been uh, born with that. Uh, Maybe one. A, a subsidiary of Dojima. The parent company, Dojima. <laughs> Are you to sell out, Kazuma? What ask you to sell out? Oh. Well, yes, he did. How did you know that? Wait, wasn't I supposed to go to jail? I mean, I told him to fuck off and all, but I still see no cops, and I've beaten up, like, three groups of people. <laughs> well, that's just every day in Shibuya. Sorry, Kamurocho. Yeah, see, this I was guy... about to say, he got the Shibu... He got... This, this guy knows. He's like, Kiryu only uses fists. Why would he have a gun? That's what the cops... Uh, like, that's why the cops aren't coming for you. They know. Yeah. yeah. Like, Kiryu, only, he's only a fister. It's not his M.O. Sheesh. He's a Mr. Fister. <laughs> fister Romano. <laughs> God damn it. I was so mad about that. About what? Because I, I heard it in a commercial. It turned out that was not the... T like, it was a He-Man commercial. Uh, okay. What? <laughs> Alright, so there's this whole thing that I did on my Twitter account. Where I was watching old commercials because that's what I do. Uh -huh. And it was a He-Man commercial where they were talking about the toys Fister and Roboto. But because the guy says all, like, he says, like, three toys and he says Fister and Roboto so quickly, all I heard was Fister Roboto. And I was like, that's the coolest fucking name. And I, why is that a character's name in He-Man? Mm. And so I changed my name from Laughing Boy LP to Fister Roboto for, like, a week. And that's around the time. I don't time, remember that at all. That's around the time that uh, Emily Rogers, like the big Nintendo person, that is on Twitter and, and says all like the hidden shit about Nintendo before they get announced. She leaks all that shit. Well, like no, that was right. Before, that was right after she started following me. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, well, this is quality that she's come to expect. And. Uh, but uh, but after that, like I found out that yeah, it was like a Krieger invention, yeah, in Archer. Yes. And so I was less happy about it, but like at the same time, I was like, it's back when Archer was good. It was back when Archer was good, but I literally had the thought of like, oh, I'll bet you it's a Krieger invention. And I looked it up. Of course it was. <laughs> it's like it sounds like a sex robot. Yeah. What did Krieger make in season one and two? Sex robots. Not slacking off. <laughs> this is the empty lot they're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's tiny. But it's got good value. Is this Parks and Recreation? It's good Do real Do we want to make a park over it? Oh my god. Are we battling between a park and a paunch burger? 
A billion? No, they even- at least they acknowledge that it's a tiny lot. See? So yeah, my name is Vista Roboto for like a week. <laughs> Long story short, that- that's your director's note? TL note. Vista Roboto is a Krieger invention. <laughs> Fuck, what is Krieger's first name? Antoine. No, it's not. It's something. It's something remotely German. What is it he knows? I don't know, I ain't him. Well, as far as I know, they build a bar above that space. Above it? Yeah. You mean on it? No, because there's a little... There's like stairs going up into a building next to it. So that's good real estate. They just needed... They needed the they lot needed for people to park for their bikes. Stairs. <laughs> Do you realize how great of a stair? That is prime stair real estate. You don't even know. <laughs> Get your head in the stair real estate game. So is he going? Are we going to prison then to break him out? Is this prison break the video game? I don't think we go to prison. <laughs> I'm watching season two of Prison Break and surprisingly they've already escaped. God damn it. <laughs> Get Thomas so good. I was apprehensive to watch that show at first because I was like, how many seasons does it take to escape prison? Oh. But oh. <laughs> well, no, I watched it last year Poor guy. and mm. I really like it actually. Yeah. It's like, like coming back. It already has, it's already three episodes in. Mm. Yeah. They've already escaped. Like, I can, no, they haven't. I can understand why people wouldn't like it past season one, because it kind of falls into that. Because season one is fantastic, it's super awesome, and then season two, like, they escape at the end of season one. Yeah, we have to go back. No, actually no. Season two, the entirety of season two was them on the run. After oh, escaping. is season three the we have to go back then? No, they actually go to a different prison. Yeah. In Mexico, right? Uh, somewhere in Central America. I could have sworn there was a we have to go back moment. No, You're that's lost. lost. <laughs> no, I know that's in Lost. Um, no, they never go back to the... They never go back intentionally to the original prison. But, um, yeah, the third season is a separate prison. And the fourth season is weird. They become like a covert team trying to take down this secret corporation of suits that are the reason he was in the second prison in the first place. It's really weird, but like season four wasn't very strong, but season th this current season is pretty is all right. It's promising. Is it like know. a reboot or is it like 24 oh. Resurrection? It's a continuation. So okay, it's the so same it's like 24 Resurrection or whatever the fuck it's called. No, because it's the same cast. Well, it's but it's like continuing the story. Yeah, but 24 Redemption is a completely different cast. Right, but like it's Kiefer like... Kiefer Sutherland's not in it at all, I think. Right, well, because he's a president now. <laughs> yes. God damn it. It wasn't his choice. He didn't ask for that. But, um... No, it's essentially, it's essentially like, oh, it's five years later, this is where everybody is. Oh. Holy shit. Well, you know he becomes a Yakuza because there's five games after this. <laughs> Six. So, That's why it's so surprising. What happens? Yeah. How does what he makes get, him go back? How does he get yeah. back in? Yeah, how does Stella get his groove back? So what's the plan? He's gonna quit being a Yakuza. How do you do that? One Piece. You cut your he says, I, I'll stop. <laughs> well, he was supposed to cut his finger off to begin with, right? Yeah. Before going to prison? Before going to jail. Mm -hmm. Now I'll just cut my finger off. Straight to Dojima. They don't. Wait. <laughs> is he missing a finger in the other games? No. No. No, no. Are we keeping these in? 
Yeah. Are we keeping our voiceovers in? Uh, some, uh, yeah. I think you did. Yeah, much. you did. He did. Then why am I taking him out for Breath of the Wild? Uh, because that's the thing you do. Editor's when you want discretion. You to told me to do it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I was gonna keep him in. Editor's discretion. Yeah, but in that we were talking about spoilers. In this we're not talking about spoilers. <laughs> well, I mean, when we when I did the first. Well, episode, you spoiled yeah. that in the first game. He doesn't have. He still has his finger. <laughs> Come on. You ruined it. Yakuza One came out in like 2005. No, it hasn't come out yet. Because <laughs> Kiwami isn't out yet. Actually, that's true. None so literally, we're gonna play Yakuza Zero, then we're gonna play Kiwami, and then we're gonna play, and then we'll play two six. on the I PS2. Mean, oh. <laughs> I mean, I'd be cool God. with that shit. I. I would. Can like, we just? Can we? I 100 percent in one. Like I know to, how to do every single thing in that. Can game. we just like? Do a thing where we just watch the movies for them and talk <laughs> over them. <laughs> They're like the movie for three is like an hour and a half long. Like it's nuts. We could break that. That's actually normal movie length. <laughs> yeah, but it's a lot of information. Actually, to take that's in less than a normal American movie with like orphans and based shit. Based on these days, yeah. Well, it's, uh, even even back in the nineties, there were still one hundred and twenty minutes. Yeah, but movie times have kind of fluctuated where. They were like super long in like the 30s and 40s, and yes, then during were. the 90s they got to like <laughs> all right, calm down. The average of like the two hour part, and then up back like, in like 2007 they were like, yeah, let's go to three now. You know what? This yeah, is but then after that they kind of fluctuated down to where like the average was like 90, 100 minutes, and now they're coming like because you know they were. Well, they are getting more expensive to make. Yeah, exactly. But... Go to Doji, my family. <laughs> We'll do that on the next Look, episode. Nah, you got five minutes. I got five minutes? Yeah, you got five minutes. Let's go right. beat up some dudes. All right, let's go. Go bump fast. into that guy. I mean, like, it's the whole reason why, to... like... All right, we'll go bump into that guy with his girlfriend. Oh, a drunk. There oh. we go. Oh, he doesn't want to fight. Well, it's like, um... No, the no, reason no. there were two parts of the final Harry Potter movie, or two parts of the final Hunger Games, or well, the final Twilight movie... It's one to make more money, but one of the excuses, quote unquote, that they said is that no one will want to sit through a three and a half, three hour movie. Well, but and they it's also just like, like um, we, wanted to do, we wanted to do justice by the book. Like, if I care enough about something, I'll sit through something longer. Well, I mean, they managed to squeeze out three movies out of one book that's shorter than the other books that came after it. Oh, God, yeah. Like, how do you do that? You <laughs> add a bunch of padding. And stuff that's not in the book. Yeah, you know, he would like, make a pretty good anime. Wh why the fuck what? is Legolas Harry Potter? there? No, Peter Jackson. Oh. Peter Jackson oh. would make a good anime, because he knows how to fill shit up with useless crap. Like, why Yeah, didn't you see King Kong? <laughs> like, no, I didn't, because I heard it was bad. It's, it's long. super long and super boring. It's very long. How do you have a movie with Jack Black be boring? I know, right? Oh, that's I thought insane. we were talking about Skull, uh, Skull Island, because I heard that was also bad. Oh. I heard that was okay. No, I'm, I'm talking about Peter Jackson's King Kong, because that's the full title. <laughs> that's true. Himawadi. That is Sunflower, by the way. Ah. We were just those shit kids, yeah. No, that's Kazuma. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's Kazuma. Um, Doji, Dojima's like a fat... Well, I think he's fat. But, yeah, but he, he wears like, glasses all the time. Why was he like... Oh, sh shit. I ran out of content. Uh, put Legolas in there. Do you notice there. the yeah. filter is like an old VHS? Yeah, a little bit, but I still say uh, Capcom did it better with, with Resident Evil 7. Oh, yeah. But that, yeah, th that's two series I actually want to, like, do completely on this channel. This and uh, Resident Evil 7. Well, Resident Evil. Like, I want to oh, do like all, all the Resident them? Evils. That'd be all cool. I want to play the two remake. I bet it's going to be fucking cool. Bet it's not coming out for two more years. <laughs> nah, one more year, man. <laughs> yeah, give it a year. Or it'll surprisingly come out, like, this Christmas. <laughs> we'll see, because, I mean, Capcom has shown in the last couple years that unless it's, unless the game's name is Street Fighter, they don't really care about it. Well, they've shown that in the last, like, ten years, but we they do they do love, like, Resident Evil 2. And Resident Evil 7 sold really well. Yes, that did. is true. So they're did. probably going <laughs> to fucking Just throw push, that shit out the door. <laughs> push it out before it's ready. Get that yep. money. We'll make it episodic. Apparently oh they're god, saying that the yeah. Final Fantasy 7 remake might not be episodic anymore. Oh my god. But they Whatever. also said they haven't even worked on episode 1. So, <laughs> oh my god, fucking square. I mean, I somebody said like it's a pipe dream. <laughs> what what, what you, you think about? about? 
Nothing. Oh, I'm not gonna yeah, tell they, you. This they is do the like three they, different types of cutscenes. Yeah, it's so they don't weird. Their mouths. This is the bayonetta cutscene. Yeah, it is. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Forget about it. Like, yeah, it's always so baffling when, like, I can understand the choices for some cutscenes for why you go with a certain style, but mm -hmm. can you just pick one? Yeah, like, why are they doing three different types? Maybe there's multiple directors. That's weird. <clears throat> it's happened before. Yeah, but that's still super weird. Like, yeah. I can uh, maybe it had something to do with the PS2. Did they do it in in the earlier ones? Uh, no. In in one, there's only the cutscenes where they're fully talking, and then the in-game cutscenes where they're not talking. You just have to skip the dialogue. They didn't have like <clears throat> the Bayonetta style cutscenes. I mean, that might have shown up in like four and five but I haven't gotten to those yet. Well, we'll do so eventually. Because it looks like they were using higher res models. Oh, yeah, in those. But they just weren't. Yeah. They were just moving like bobbleheads. <coughs> Even in gents. gents. Is the boss... Uh, yeah, we haven't been able to use uh, our dumb voices lately. Yeah. Well, they, there's a lot of actual voiced talk or dialogue. It's nuts. Talky dialogue. Please give the boss a message. That's a pretty serious message. Uh, I almost said Maji Day. Honkies, like. Oh, that reflection's actually pretty damn good. <clears throat> nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, did you see the car drive up in its 60 frames? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why he hates you. Why? Because you're you're a quitter. Yeah. No. He'll he, never forgive you. He hates you for a completely <laughs> bitch reason. He he hates you for an anime reason. Cause what you disagree you, on your favorite anime? <laughs> no. <laughs> you disagree on who best girl is? There. Were, yes. Well, Chie. Fistake. Fistake. No, there there are actually three orphans. It's him, Nishiki, and then there's a girl. Oh, it's over the girl. It's over the girl. Yeah. Did did Kiryu you out, man? Uh, Nishiki. Did kinda. she pick both of you? Did she pick Kiryu or neither she, of you? She did that thing where she's like, I my heart see. lies with one, but the other actually asked. <laughs> <laughs> so she liked Nishiki? No, but Kiryu made the move? She liked Kiryu, but Nishiki made the move. That's not Dojima. That's not Dojima, that's Kuze. What you doing here, Kuze? That's a good... Mafioso voice. Yeah, it man, is. he he sounds fucking deep and like heavy oh, smoker. Yeah. Probably does this a lot in movies. Mm -hmm. I want I want Zoro's voice actor to be in Yakuza because he's got a voice for it. I love Kazuya Nakai's voice. Like, like oh, oh. <laughs> maybe if I were a better Yakuza, I'd know that. Like, he just has one of those voices where any time I hear it, I'm just like, this is going to be good. Yeah. Like, that's, like I said. It's the same thing in English when you hear, um, uh, fuck. I guess Ingbosh is pretty fine. It depends. I, yeah, he's, what the fuck was he doing in Eureka 7? Yeah. Um, because he was super popular at the time. That's what he was doing. Yuri, Yuri Lowenthal's always pretty. Yeah. Like he always does well, yeah, there's job. just some, there's just certain voices where you're just like, I like this a lot. No, yeah. that's like, not how that went. <laughs> half the re like, like I told you, at, I told you at dinner, the, one, of, one of the reasons I stuck with Japanese voices in Persona, is because <gasps> Morgana's voice is Chopper. Yeah. Like, and Chopper's voice is like the quintessential chibi voice. Mm -hmm. It's way better than Happy. <laughs> yeah, Happy's voice is fine, but oh, he's given, he's given that anime look. Yeah, <laughs> like the. Uh, 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 erg, 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 erg. Yeah. <laughs> Bet you some mocap guy was real proud of that. <laughs> you can't even do that with after school clubs. You can't just quit after school clubs. <laughs> well, yes, you can. You just ask. You're, You're like, like I don't have to cut off my pinky or nothing. Not at a prestigious high school. I'm tired of playing the oboe. Fuck off, Jameson! Can you just leave? Who's Jameson? That was what I did, yes. 
<laughs> Why, yes, I did do that. Pump him with your hand. Ew. Oh, oh no. <laughs> On his. In the empty lot. In the empty lot. <laughs> I came here to get expelled, not lectured by some. Has been. Lectured by some fucking frame artist. That's a sweet ass pompadour, though. <laughs> not really. It's a realistic pompadour, but not a sweet ass pompadour. Oh, don't worry. We'll meet some guys that probably have some some good sweet JPs. I hope so. <laughs> the only good pompadour is an anime pompadour. <laughs> Ones that are just like, no, right, that's you know a wig. I prefer to live in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> He just like opens his mouth like he's about to turn into like a monster. <laughs> a live burial. Or we can melt him down. With <laughs> yeah, he's that guy. Oh, we could turn him into soup. Yeah, you're all part of the Tojo clan. It's so like hard. It's such a weird hierarchy. Well, the, there's there's the one guy, and then under him is like thirteen, fifteen bosses. But oh, then under them is a bunch of other bosses. Yeah. Then there's their lieutenants, and then there's their foot soldiers. It's either this or this guy's the clamps guy. <laughs> well, no, because <laughs> yeah. he's a lieutenant of he's a lieutenant of the Dojima family, but he's also the head of his own family. Yes. I am the a little bit. So he's trying to overthrow Dojima. So is the is this well, show gonna end and the boss is just gonna come out right now? Nah. Be like, oh, what's this shit? We never see him. He's just there. He's a computer this whole time. <laughs> None. Dojima's been oh! dead for years. Well, I guess we'll never find out who what Clamps' voice whoa, is. Whoa, he beat the shit out of Clamps. Holy shit. Nobody's ever punched Clamps. That's the guy who turns people into soup. I just beat the shit out of him as far as I'm concerned. I own him. I like how he's taking the military approach. Yeah. As soon as he's out, he's like, I'm a civilian. I have higher authority than you. <laughs> Even though that's not really true. Yeah, but I, I have a bunch of, like, marine friends that are like, I'm a civvy now. Fuck you, Admiral. Well, that's, he can it's tell a, me to fuck me. It's from a different place. Yeah. He, he is. It's, it's the ha-ha, you can't tell me what to do anymore. Yeah, he's a civ now. I didn't really have that kind of feeling when I left the army, but I can kind of get it. Mine was more, ha-ha, I can grow a beard now, fuck you. <laughs> Even though I didn't want to talk to you to begin with. Sir, you've seen a bunch of movies. You can't just leave me with the goons. I'm gonna beat them. You know I'm gonna beat the shit out of them. You clearly haven't seen enough movies. Nice. See you in ten so minutes. That's our first boss. Of course it is. I want to see his fucking tattoo. Because you can kind of see it. Yeah. I want to see the rest. I want to see the whole Take thing. Take off your shirt, sir. <laughs> All right. Uh, you ready for the claims? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to make a quick transition because it's probably the end of the episode. Yeah, and then... we're at 28 minutes.